Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Durham once again and today we are going to do a comparison between two noiseless um, type of Strat pickups. Uh, I bought the Mojo Tone uh, 67 quiet coils and I like them very much. I put them on my Jazzmaster and then I did um, a lot of playing with it for you know a couple months, maybe a little bit more. And I thought they were really thin compared to my fat 60s and fat 50s that I have on my Strat and a, another project guitar. And I thought, hmm, these quiet coils, they, they do sound very vintage, they have low output and they have the brightness, but they're missing the low end. So I found some Fender Noiseless N3 pickups and I decided to change them um, and put on this guitar. You know, something like this, okay? So the noiseless N3s, kind of like that, okay? Um, but for my surprise, they actually sound as thin as, maybe a little bit less thin because they have more uh, output and they're a little bit more crunchy, they're more modern sound and the Mojo tones are looking for proper vintage sound. So, but they were still thin and they were very bright, like I had this memory of the N3s being a bit dull compared to single coils and I didn't thought that was the case at all. But here's the thing, I'm using 500k pots and the structure of the guitar is different because you don't have string through hole like on, you know through the body and stuff. So I realized that actually the physicality of the structure of the guitar and the fact that I was using 5K, 100, uh, 500k pots was actually making the big difference between the in, in the low end of the of the pickup sound or was just making it so bright that the low end was not as perceived as being there as much so let me show you the guitar really quick so you see what i'm talking about because these of course it's not a stratocaster so it definitely sound different if, if even if you put the same pickups i got some brass telecaster saddles here with this bridge that i made and you got you know the string going all the way here with a with a bus stop and the, you know the jazz master uh, tremolo system. So it's not through body like a, a like my tally or my um, uh, Stratocaster because I have a, a tally project one that is kind of like this, but it's a tally like a tally master that is also has the N3 Telecaster version and they sound really fat and, and a bit dull and and they use five. Five, uh, 250k pot. So I noticed that is the difference. I'm gonna show you the video here uh, with the comparison of the two pickups so you can tell which one you prefer. I actually like them, the, I can tell you already I prefer the N3s just because I like a little bit of a modern sound with more output. But the Mojo tones are amazing. I'm not selling them or giving them away. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping them for their future project with other guitars and I wanna do run some tests, change the potential values, like, you know, try them with the 250k. And, but anyway, I'm talking a lot. Uh, bear in mind, when I'm doing the test, everything is exactly the same, I'm just changing the pickups. It's still the, the CTS 500K here. And yeah, uh, just listen. I'm not gonna give any other opinions after this video. So if you enjoy the video after you hear the comparison, uh, don't forget to subscribe. You know, I'm almost hitting a thousand uh, uh, subscribers in this channel and it would be great to you know start putting some ads and making money uh, no, not really because you get pains like you get cents in these videos but it would be nice to hit a thousand subscribers it makes you have you know a little bit of more projection on YouTube and if you like Red Hot Chili Peppers I got a bunch of covers in this channel so feel free to check them out I've been talking too much. Cheers. Uh, that's this. Now we're gonna start the samples and the end of the video. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. Peace. See ya. Whew.